in hello my dear students in a last video we discussed about the rocks that are the type what are the types of rocks what are the types of rocks we discussed about the igneous rocks sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks today we are going to discuss how the rocks are formed what is the process for formation of rocks and also about the rock cycle the rocks change with the following process that is weathering erosion deposition compaction and cementation so we are going to discuss one by one about the four processes so what do you mean by weathering of rocks we already discussed earlier that the weathering of rocks means the breaking of the bigger rock into smaller particles breaking of the rocks into smaller particles is called the weathering of the rocks it's a process of breaking rocks into smaller particles for weathering of rocks hot and cold temperature is required and due to the hot and the cold temperature weathering of rocks occurs and heat and cold plays a very important role in the weathering of rocks you might have seen the rock the big boulders of rocks there might be fissure in the rock that is a break or a crack in the rock so due to this it will not break the whole rock will not break but what happens in the fissures of the rock some water particles get into it and what happens after that in the uh, in the cold temperature it freezes and becomes ice and during the hot season it becomes water so it continues for some time and hence it exerts a pressure on the rock and the rock breaks into many small particles so this is called the weathering of rocks rain water can freeze and expand in the cracks of rocks which i told you earlier so in the water there might be chemicals which dissolve some portion of the rocks and hence they break the rock into smaller particles due to the acid rain also some rocks dissolve in the acid rain some rocks dissolve in the acid rain and hence the rocks are broken down into smaller particles the roots of some big trees they grow they go deep into the soil the roots of the big trees they go deep into the soil and hence in the in the process they break the big uh, big rocks into smaller particles so in this way the weathering of rock occurs so weathering of rocks can occur in different way and it takes a very long time for the weathering to happen it can take around years also for the weathering of rocks to happen so this the first is was the weathering of rocks next is the erosion how the erosion occurs what do you mean by erosion as the rock weather so what happens after the weathering of rocks is it has to be eroded away that it, it has to be carried away the smaller particles of rocks is generally carried away by wind or water or some glaciers and hence they are deposited in somewhere else and this is called the erosion as the rock weather they got broken into smaller particles so in the process of carried by the water current it breaks into smaller particles so you might have seen the sand near the and near the river banks this is nothing but the big particles of rocks bro broken down into very small and fine particles and they become the sand the pieces are transported to different places and the movement and the movement of weathered particle of pieces is called the erosion so movement of the particles to different places is called the erosion this happens generally by the water wind and glaciers so falling down of broken pieces from the mountains so you might have seen the landslide happening so big boulder of rock they fall from the mountains or the hill slopes and thus they uh, get eroded and they get deposited in different places flow of river and stream carry weathered particles uh, the river when they flow they carry along with the water they carry some smaller rocks also and this in, and in turn uh, when they are carried away with the very high current what happens they uh, come together with one another and they break into smaller particles wind also carry small grains of rocks sometimes in when there is very high wind what do you observe the the, the wind also carry some particles some particles of rock the fine particles of rocks so it can be carried from one place to another and this is called the erosion glaciers also transport the bigger particles of the rocks and thus they are transported from one place to another so the glaciers plays a very important role in the transportation they transport the larger pieces of the stones or rocks and thus they are transferred from one place to another
so the third one is the deposition what happens in deposition when the eroded particles of the rocks they uh, they are transferred from one place to another they has to be deposited in some different places and they are deposited layer by layer and this is called the deposition so the particles of rock that are get eroded are deposited at a place and this is called the deposition rivers carry sediments rivers carry sediments and deposited along their course so the rivers they carry the sediment the smaller particles of the rocks and hence they are deposited on layer by layer on one another wind also deposits some grains of rocks some grains of rocks are carried by the wind and hence they are deposited it at different places melting glaciers also deposit the eroded rocks so the deposition that happens in layer by layer that is uh, one layer of the bigger rocks is there then smaller then little bit smaller then fine particles of the rocks are deposited so the rocks are deposited layer by layer down layer consists of the bigger particles that is the bigger particles are dumped first then the finer particles are uh, placed one upon the another and layers are built uh, in the due time that is you may you might find the layers by layer they are deposited layers this is a big particles then small little smaller than the finer particles then the finer finest particles in this way they are deposited and this is called the deposition of the rock particles and the last one is compaction and cementation what do you mean by that as the layer of sediment build up the pressure on the lower layer increases the pressure on the lower layer that is the here the pressure uh, on the lower layer increases and they get squeezed together due to the pressure they get intact together and this is called the compaction so they are compact together there are no air formation in between them when the sediments stick to each other so when the smallest particle they stick to each other this they get cemented and this process is called the cementation these are the sequence of the process in which the rocks are formed first one is weathering second one is erosion third one is deposition fourth one is compaction and cementation now what do you mean by rock cycle the rocks are constantly formed and they are worn out and then formed again rocks are constantly formed then they are worn out then they are formed again and this process is called the rock cycle it takes several million years to make the rock to form three rocks that is the three different types of rocks are formed by this process what is the three different types of rocks they are igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks are formed by this process so today we have learned about how the rocks changes the rocks change by the sequence of process and what are they they are weathering erosion deposition compaction and cementation and also we studied what uh, what is rock cycle thank you